Mr um, Chairman, we will not be supporting this budget appropriation. I call Andrew Bailey. Thank you, Mr Chair. Uh, before I start, I just do want to congratulate uh, Jacinda Ardern and Kelvin Davis on their promotion. Uh, it is a pleasure to be speaking on this uh, estimates debate. And uh, I want to start this uh, discussion just talking around the announcement that occurred today, uh, Mr Chair, which is the announcement that New Zealand's unemployment rate is 4.8 per cent. And the reason I make that start is that, of course, getting New Zealanders into good jobs, paying jobs, with all the pride that comes with it, with all the security that comes with it, is actually essential in terms of trying to get people to get their own home, buy their own home and establish their families over time. And that's why it's so crucial that we have a, a, a successful economy there where everyone can participate. Now, in terms of the uh, housing policies, which I'd like to talk about, obviously it falls into three areas. One is emergency housing, second is social housing, and the third is that broad category of market housing, if I can use that term, Mr Chair. And if there is any assertion that this government is not concerned about the most vulnerable in the society, then I've got to say to you, Mr Speaker, or Mr Chair, that that assertion is totally incorrect. This government this year will spend $2.3 billion helping over 310,000 families in need with their social housing and housing needs. We are committed to helping people. And the budget that was just announced was very substantial in terms of some of the new initiatives. For instance, Mr Speaker, we, uh, already we've committed $175 million to emergency housing to be spent over the next four years, another 155 towards emergency and trans transitional housing, in total of just over 300 million. Also, uh, other initiatives, and I, I'd just like to uh, highlight the one around Tapui Marae, which some members have referred to earlier tonight. We welcome the initiatives and the support that Tapui Marae uh, have and continue to make. But I'd just say to you, Mr Chair, that the government has now stepped into a system, work alongside the Marae, and to provide wraparound services for those people who want to access housing support and all the social supports that go with it. And in fact, there are five locatable houses on that Marae as we speak. That's right. Now, Mr Speaker, I just also want to draw our attention to the tax um, matters which have come through in the budget. And we've had the family incomes package, and some of my colleagues have highlighted it the changes in income threshold, which means that all New Zealanders who pay tax will benefit, and particularly the poorer members of our society. The increase in working for families package, which is quite substantial depending on the number of children, that could be anywhere between $9.60 and about $24, $25 per child. And of course, the substantial increase in accommodation supplement, which may in fact be as much as $100 per week, depending on the circumstances of the family in need. Very, very substantial. Now, Mr Speaker, one of the speakers earlier referred to uh, the issue of P. And uh, Mr uh, Chair, I should say, uh, members may be aware that I put forward a private member's bill on this very issue. And the big issue around P is that we did not, have, did not have clarity around, in terms of testing companies, what the uh, appropriate methodology was. There was uncertainty around the actual level of contamination. And thirdly, we didn't know or have a mechanism to ensuring that if a house had been decontaminated, de de there was a methodology for approving or assessing that. And I was slightly alarmed that some members don't seem to be up with the play, don't know what's going on, so I just thought I might take the opportunity to remind some of our members that progress has been made. And, and it, uh, the main thing is the Standards Committee has reported back, uh, and we've adopted a higher rate rather than 0.5. Order. This, this is not part of this uh, sector debate. You must bring it back to the sector that we're debating. That's, uh, that, that's very wide of the debate. Andrew Bailey. Thank you. So I'll, just, uh, I'll finish off my time, Mr Chair, which is around the issue of how we get new people into housing, how we get our first-time people into housing. And as the Prime Minister noted today in question time, 
27,000 people have already benefited from the Home Start loan package, Mr Chair, and we intend to get 90,000 people accessing new homes over time. I call uh, Jenny Solita. Kia ora na koutou katoa toa. Happy Cook Islands Language Week. And thank you so much, Mr Chair, for this call on the appropriations.